All right, y'all, so we are back with the verses of the day. I haven't done this in, I don't know, how long, and I apologize, but we're going to get back into it starting today. So today we're going to read it from the book of Genesis, and we are in chapter 1. And we are going to be reading verse 27. So God created mankind in his own image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. God blessed them and said to them, Be fruitful. Be fruitful and increase in number, fill the earth and subdue subdu it. Rule over the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky and over every living creature that moves on the ground. The next verse is coming from the book of Nehemiah. Hopefully I pronounced that right. If not, I'm pretty sure somebody will correct me in the comments. Um, we're coming from the book of Nehemiah chapter 8 and we're going to be reading verse 10. Nehemiah said, go and enjoy choice food and sweet drinks and send some to those who have nothing prepared. This day is holy to our Lord. Do not grieve for the joy of the Lord is your strength. The Levites come to the people saying, be still for this is a holy day. Do not grieve. And all the people went away to eat and drink, to send portions of food and to celebrate with great joy because they now understood the, world, the words that have been made known to them. The next verse is coming from the book of John, chapter 15. We're going to be reading verse 16 once I find it. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you so that you may, so that you might go and bear fruit, fruit that will last. And so that whatever you ask in my name, the Father will give you. This is my command. Love each other. And the last verse is coming from the book of Ephesians, chapter 2, verses 4 through 5. But because of his great love for us, God, who was rich in mercy, made us alive with Christ, even when we were dead with transgressions. It is by grace that you have been saved. And God raised us up with Christ and seed us with him in the heavenly realm. In Jesus Christ, in order that the in order that the coming ages he might show the incomparable riches of his grace impressed with in his kindness to us in Jesus Christ, it is for it is by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not from yourselves, it is the gift from God, not by work, so that no one can boast, for we are God's handiwork. Created in Jesus Christ to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do.